good evening, everybody. Welcome back to Tbilisi. It's Montenegro versus Spain in Eurobasket 2022. Another huge matchup coming our way. Yesterday, they will want to bounce back. Montenegro beating Bulgaria comfortably on Sunday. There's the first game in the books. Turkey winning 78 to 63. Montenegro, Spain now, and Bulgaria versus Belgium tonight. So Turkey topped the group with that win, three and one. Belgium two and two. Spain two and one. Montenegro two and one. Georgia one and two. And Bulgaria yet to get off the mark. Spain to be introduced first. Key players for them, Willy Herman Gomez, 16 points a game. Juancho Herman Gomez, 5.7 rebounds. And Lorenzo Brown with six assists a game. One of the leading assist players in this tournament. Other players to look out for, Aristegui. Of course. Rudy Fernandez, had a quiet game in the last game against Belgium where they lost by 10, 83-73, and Belgium finished really strong, scoring the last 12 points of the game. So Spain will want to put that behind them, just like Turkey have done in the previous game after losing against Georgia in double OT on Sunday. Now Spain will be looking to do the same. Now Montenegro, their key player has been Moat. Boyan Dublovic, 18.7 points a game, 8.7 rebounds. Kendrick Perry leads the assists. Mihailovic just behind on scoring. They're the key three players. Radovic helping out underneath, but can step out to score. Simonovic waiting for him to explode. The young NBA star, young Montenegro star. Jobniak has done a really good job when required. Three points again. We're now pause for the national anthems.
national anthems sung with such emotion. These two beautiful countries, Spain and Montenegro. Last time these two teams met, Spain won convincingly 99 to 60 at the Eurobasket in 2017. It includes the poker in Romania. We're getting ready to meet the starting fives of the two teams and also the officials. Spain will be wanting a quick start here and a dominant performance, but Montenegro will be a stern challenge for them. With the likes of Dublovic and Perry. And Mikhailovic playing big roles. Oskar Lucis, Sergei Zastruk and Gatis Salic. Latvia, Ukraine and Latvia are your officials for tonight's game. Top, top officials at the top tournaments. Nothing gets much bigger than Eurobasket 2022 in Tbilisi. Wherever you're watching us around the world, good evening. And here's the starting five for Spain. Brown, Lopez Aristegui, Jaime Fernandez, Willy Goman Hernan Gomez, and Jaime Pradia. Now, pradia has been doing a good job. Once your Herman Gomez can come off the bench. And there's Willy Herman Gomez, so consistent for the team. 16 points a game, shooting 68% for two, 71% from the free throw line. And a real focus for this group with so many changes. And Sergio Scariola, I guess he was preparing himself for a bump in the road, and that came Sunday against Belgium. But he's going to stay calm. It's all part of the process. Next step. And we move forward for the next challenge. Expect Spain to be very sharp today. Montenegro start with Radoncic. Simonovic on a big game from him. Dublovic, Popovic, who went off injured in the game at the weekend against Bulgaria. He's back. And Kendrick Perry, well, some amazing plays he can play. But our player focus is Vladimir Mihailovic versus Bulgaria. 23.6. Rebounds, five assists. He was outstanding, electric, and we both love to watch this player play. Myself and Josh and Bosco Radovic, real solid character, lead it, leading this group to this point, and a win will take them to the round of 16 against the team that beat them so convincingly at the Eurobasket in 2017, when Spain won 90 to 66. 99, excuse me, 99 to 60, even worse. They certainly won't want that, Josh. Oh, absolutely not, of course. As you mentioned, the winner of this game, both 2-1 and one here, will have that ticket to go to Berlin. Turkey, as we mentioned, already winning that game. You can see this is the lowest in the year of basketball. It just goes to show how well Spain take care of basketball. The question is, are they going to be able to do it here tonight after a disappointing defeat against Belgium? A serious response is needed from the Spanish national team. Yeah, ten, ten turnovers in the last in the last game, and then four the one before that, which was just outstanding with over 20 assists. They're going to be wanting to get back to that sort of that sort of situation. But they are they are an outstanding young team. A lot of players coming off the bench. I just feel Scariola, in the back of his mind, thought at some point in this tournament there was going to be some issues, and they had it on Sunday. Well, absolutely, but ladies and gentlemen, we thank you for joining us here as we have moments away now for tip off. It is Montenegro taking on Spain. Both these two teams now, two and one here. Those don't win, we'll book the tickets. First class to Berlin. Highly likely that both of them will get there, of course, the way these two teams are playing, but you know that the beauty of winning this game is, you know, tomorrow night, you don't have to see what the outcome of the course is gonna be. Montenegro have to take on the host, George Orger, tomorrow night. And they'll be taking on Bulgaria later, so they want to have to win a game in front of a very up and ruckus home crowd. Yeah, that's going to be that's going to be a test. It's been incredible. All the evening games has been pretty much sold out, and a joy to be here. But this is going to be a huge matchup, Josh. Come on, boys. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we thank you for joining us here in Tbilisi, Georgia. It's live, the 2022 PB Eurobasket. Spain will get the first possession here against Montenegro. Lorenzo Brown now. Again, just coming into this role here with the Spanish national team. So far, he's been very impressive, of course. Jaime Fernandez now is in the starting lineup. Lorenzo. Quick tunnel from Spain and now Montenegro. Trying to capitalize here. Very now, pick a pop here going in with Savanovic. That's a nice little start there for Montenegro. Yeah, he knows he's got to do better. I spoke to him at the hotel yesterday and said, we just want more from you. And he's just delivered right there. Lorenzo Brown now. And really Hernan Gomez. Interesting change here that Scariolo has made here in the sidewalk. Goes a nutmeg. Oh, baby! Well, oh. Lopez out of Stegi. Made the nutmeg pass, and Willie Hernan Gomez just threw it down. Right through Dublafish's legs. Catch and finish for Willie Hernan Gomez. Well, now Montenegro. Samanovic does it. Dish off to Dublovic. Dublovic now gets caught in a double team. Almost turns it over now. Perry's got a few seconds. Perry pulls up from no man's land. Doesn't get it now. Willie Hernan Gomez with a rebound. So find it for Dia. Dia transition. Dia will lay that one up. Good fast break basketball there from Spain. We want to see the replay from the previous play from Lopez. Out of Stegi. The officials are just going to try and wipe the basketball down. But I mean, that is an Olay moment between the legs. And Willy Hernan Gomez. Muchos gracias with a two headed jam. <laughs> that was just poetry in motion. Perry now finding Marco Simonovic going down low here to Dubovic. Wow, oh, it's been cool there. Are they going to go to that option all night long now with du Dubovic in the low block? Yeah, up against Jan Pradea. So steep, steep learning curve for him. And Dubovic getting as deep as he can in the post, causing all sorts of problems. Perry now finding Simonovic into the basket. Simonovic now trying to capitalize with a mismatch. A much better start, and they're going to him to get him involved early, get his confidence up. Lorenzo Brown now trying to shake and bake now down the middle, puts up a little sweet finger. Lorenzo Brown making it look muy facil. That is so tough. Scoop layup, no need for the backboard, straight in for the swish. Kendrick Perry now just trying to find Popovich here. Popovich now coming up one screen down the middle. Popovich going in with a little fangle. These two teams just exchanging yeah. buckets back and forth now. He yeah, had really good attack from Popovich. Good to see that he's he's looking healthy as he attacks the hoop. Down low now finds Willie. Willie throws it away. Very poor pass there by Willie Hernan Gomez. Now Montenegro retake the lead here with Kendrick Perry. Perry going all the way. And Perry. Easy, uncontested layup there. Where was the Spanish help side defense? Yeah, just going downhill. You know how athletic and strong Perry can be going to the hoop. It just showed us right there with a layup from the right side. Lorenzo Brown now coming off one screen. Comes down the middle. There's the foul drawing. The foul is going to be going against Marcus Suwanovic. Ball now, Jaime Fernandez to the ball inbound. And now you can see Montenegro defense changing up here. Fernandez in the corner. Well, Graham, is it a wise idea to go to a 2 3 zone against Spain? I don't think so. And then Simonovic is trying to guard two players, can't get out to the shooter. Well, no foul called against there. Perry splits the defense, but he's got body to the ground there. Let's have a look at the replay. That's an interesting one. Yeah, Simonovic comes out. Thinking the Brown's going to shoot, then he's out of position for the for the Jaime Fernandez shot. Not great D there from Montenegro. Popovich now by the Dubovic. The ball in the corner now to Kendrick Perry. Spain also going to his own defense here. Well, behind the back now, Radoncic takes it. That would have been nice if he finished that one, but now Spain can capitalize here. So Brown now coming off one screen, now pulls up the mid-range, takes the shot to get it, loves that mid-range. Yeah, that's patient play, left-hand dribble, pulls up with his right hand, he looks totally focused and in control. Three-point lead now here to Spain. Both these two teams just found a bit of rhythm in this game so far. Perry now coming. 
coming up one screen here with Samanovic. Samanovic now kicks up to Perry. Now Perry can make these shots in the perimeter. Way up the mark there. Good job on the defense by Lopez Arastegui. And Lopez Arastegui just getting in the eye line of Perry. I'd like to see Samanovic. He started the game well. He gets it deep in the paint, just turn and go to work. Little jump hook, he's got the elevation, he's certainly got the size, he's a big, big player. Jaime Perdia now, and Willie Hernan Gomez. Lorenzo Brown coming up on screen, back to Willie now, Willie, a bit of contact, doesn't get him, but Perdia with the tip in. They get an interesting change that Scariola's made, but I like it. It's looking like it's working so far here, the balance in the lineups. Yeah, all the attention on William and Gomez and Pradilla taking full advantage with the putback. Now with the attempt the shot clock here, very fine with Doncic. Doncic in the corner by Simonovic. Simonovic hits the three-pointer and he nails that one. Yeah, I think he wants to silence his critics. I say, I'm saying, I said to him yesterday briefly, they just need to relax. He was getting very uptight in the last game and he's come out really, really quick. Lorenzo Brown now. Just want to get the ball back. Gonna go pick and roll here with Willie Hernan Gomez. Now, now. He's on his left, finds Willie again. Willie now takes his way and he throws it down with a one handed jam. Yeah, he's so mobile. That's a tough cover for Dublovich. You got into defensive position, but Willie Herman Gomez just kept going around him and threw it down. Well, Kendrick Perry now. Petr Popovich kicks in the corner with Doncic. He'll go baseline with Doncic. Gets rejected with a foul. It's going to be called against Willy Hernan Gomez. Nice little drive there by Radoncic. Yeah, Radoncic, that's, what, that's his strength. That's attacking the basket. Putting Willy Hernan Gomez under all sorts of pressure. That was a three-pointer by Marko Simonovic. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's a tough shot with the defense closing out, but quick extra pass. I say he's got good size, so he's tough to cover, whether he's in the paint or behind the three-point line. Good to see for Montenegro. Well, two free throws now for Dino Radoncic. Again, his minutes have been very much like a roller coaster. One minute he plays a lot. Next game, he's not so much his services have been used, of course. Yeah. And Spain know he's going to drive. He wants to drive. He's, he's not made any threes. He's only taken a handful, so they're going to try and play the drive. But that time, he got all the way to the hoop. Makes the second one now. One-point ball game here. Sorry, excuse me. Change on that one. Two-point ball game, of course. Lorenzo Brown now. This is one of the high mate. Tuck that one away. Well, good way to build his confidence. Yeah, they're standing up to be counted, and the young players are doing it for Spain there. Pradea with the three. Popovich now, he'll come off the screen. He'll take a three-pointer. Way off the mark, doesn't get it. And now Lorenzo Brown, he's got numbers here, throws the alley, pass Pradea. I don't think he's expecting that one. Bosco Radovic has to go timeout as Lorenzo Brown is making things happen for Spain's transition. That's a soft basket for Montenegro to give away because I think Brown was thinking Pradir would go up for the alley-oop, but he still had time to come down and finish it. That should not be happening. Simonovic should be trying his absolute utmost to stop Pradir getting that shot up. Well, Lorenzo really working in transition. I mean, for Dia, again, it's amazing when you have a player like Lorenzo Brown, of course, kind of getting the ball in the sweet spot, the good positions that he wants to get those shots, but you know, Lorenzo, the mid range, and that is automatic. Yeah, and he's a great facilitator, Brown, and then Willie Herman Gomez with momentum to the basket gets round Dublovic. Again, I have to say it's very impressive to see 
how Sergio Scariola has now gone with his probably strongest lineup. Of course, you can see Juancho, of course, starting on the bench for this game. Maybe that will suit Juancho home and Gomez coming off the bench. He can be an impact player now. And still got Rudy Fernandez to insert into the game as well when required. Well, Rudy has just checked into the game here for Spain, the veteran player. Popovic now finds Simonovic. Oh, Simonovic just throws it away there. Trying to find Dubovic under the basket. Dubovic just can't get going. They're stopping any passes to him to really slow Dubovic down. Lorenzo hesitates now, kicks out to Rudy Fernandez. Rudy Fernandez will take a three pointer way up the mark. Now he's going to be caught against Petr Popovic. Well, Radovic coming in with Mihailovic, so Vasco Radovic also not starting with his strongest core either. Again, trying to mix things up here from both benches. We mentioned Mihailovic, definitely the best player in the last game for Montenegro. He was, he was superb. He just took the game over for them in spells. Isolate here. That's Bruce Weller. Now Bruce Weller takes the three points downtown as he get it. Well, possession is going to be back to Spain here because even though it was tip backed, it wasn't in full possession there. So the officials now just explain to Dubovic and to Mihailovic, of course. Montenegro need to take care of their of their balls, Josh. They can't keep allowing Spain to get extra possessions. Well, you're absolutely right, of course. I mean, Montenegro, they got to come up with rebounds. Okay, looks like they're going to go back to that zone defense here. Pradilla now looking to attack the basket against Radovic. Pradilla makes a contact ball. Did hold on to his ankle a little bit awkwardly, but I think he's going to be okay. Yeah, they're really going to Pradir, and that's an obvious foul. Radoncic, he's going to struggle, I think, with a, in a foot race with Pradir. And that's, again, just great sportsmanship. It's been outstanding. Well, Jaime Pradir, I mean... Big, big expectations for this young man and big boost to Bill, but it's so far in the ACB and showing the prominence of the level he can play at. But again, it's always tough to come into a team where the golden generation is passed, but it's all about building for the future. One thing I love about Spanish basketball, you look at the youth teams, so many great players coming through. I'm telling you, that golden generation, it will be back again one day. Oh. Well now tries to three point again. He's way off the mark there. He's getting another offensive rebound. Darren now kicking this one out to Rudy Fernandez. Red Fernandez. He's got to shoot it now. End of the shot clock. And it looks at there, but they're not able to knock it down. And now Montenegro with a chance to chip into the deficit. Well, Radovich now pick and pop. He'll try three points way off the mark. Well, Willie here now kicks out to Rudy. Rudy down the middle. Give it go now. Finds it as well up. Wide open in the corner, three is up, and the three is good. Dario Brazuela. Yeah, Willie from one one side of the floor to Rudy, quick penetration of the floor to Rudy, quick penetration, and the pass into the corner for Brazuela for the wide open three. Well, Kendrick Perry now with the pick and roll here with Dubovic. And Dubovic has to force up a three point inning at the moment. Montenegro. They find any rhythm in their offense. So Alberto Diaz now. On one screen now takes a mid-range. Spain are just cruising here in the first quarter. Yeah, everybody coming on the floor is playing with absolute confidence. Alberto Diaz, little fade on that jump shot. Nothing but net. 
foul is going to be called, I believe, against Dario Buduela. Well, coming into the game now is Garuba along with Juancho. So now Scariolo. There's some good options here, making his bench a little bit stronger, a bit deeper now. Looks like Garuba's going to play 5 here with Juancho at the 4. And Spain now going into a 2 3 zone. Oh, Halevich now, finding Dubovic, Dubovic now going to Radovic, Radovic going up, he missed a wide open look. Yeah, nice bounce pass, but he just couldn't get the elevation. Oh, as well, now kicking the corner. It's a turnover and a sloppy possession there. <laughs> yeah, the king, as Dubinovic leaves, they are just all over him. He's actually leaving the uh, arena. Well, that's a worrying sight there for Montenegro, and hopefully he's okay. Well, good minutes ago in the first quarter, Spain now up by 12 points. Mikhailovic to attack the basket here. Tries to hang it here, and he kisses that one off the backboard, and a much needed two points there for Montenegro. Wow, that's a superb attack of the basket. Hangs in the air, high off the glass for two points. Alberto Diaz now. Rudy Fernandez. Ball now coming for Garuba. Spain trying to break this defense down. Well, there's the shot for Dario Grenzuela. Well, Rudy Cajamalio player stepping up big time there. Yeah, beautiful series of dribbles. Just pulls up. And nothing but net on that jump shot from about 15 feet. Montenegro now can get the last shot here. He's dropping out, coming up one screen. This turns over. Lucky there by Alberto Diaz. 5.1 seconds left here. Spain leading by 12 points. Montenegro trying to get the last shot here of the first quarter. Mihailovic now catch and shoot. The three is up. The three is no good. Foul is called right at the end. That's going to be two free throw shots, I believe, there now for Radovic. Well, the shot was missed, but they didn't deal with Radovic. They didn't box him out. And I think that's, uh, that's a lot of contact, so good call by the officials, but somebody in front of us is not agreeing with that call. Clearly not, no. <laughs> It's tough one there because Garuba makes contact with the ball, but as you said, slight little contact after it. I think the officials now discuss because I don't think Radovic was in the process of shooting when the foul was made. But again, that's what they're discussing right now. Well, this is big. Free throws still stand. So it's going to be now two free throws here for Radovic. Radovic, of course, can have the opportunity for two important points on the board now here for Montenegro. Again, they've been struggling to get some good shots and some good looks, but putting that down to the very tough collective defense here by the Spanish players. But a technical foul's been called. I'm not sure if they called that on Garuba, if they called that a bench technical, but. So now Radovic stays at the free throw line to get an extra free throw now. Second one now. One more. Because I think what's going to happen is, well, the lineup will come. Well, 
Romani Radovich, chance now to cut it down to single digits if you make this free throw. Four tenths, second left here in the first quarter. But right, missed the free throw. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Spain now. Responding much better up than defeat against Belgium. As they currently lead 27 to 17 here against Montenegro. This is game day four here of the FIBA Eurobasket. Live into Lisa, Georgia. We'll leave some stats and some highlights. We're going to listen to both coaches. Yeah, two point range. Montenegro doing fine there, five of six, but just one of eight from behind the arc. Three of six, 50% for Spain. And field goals, 71% from Spain and 43% from Montenegro. The, the nutmeg, the between the legs of Dublovic, the bounce pass. And Willie Herman Gomez with the finish. And then Lorenzo Brown is pumped, but he still gets it to finish on the scoop layer. Oh, it's been, it was an exciting start to the game. These two teams just insane exchange of buckets, but then, you know, Spain, I felt personally, just stepped up the defense. He went into the zone to change into a mad man. And all of a sudden, Montenegro just found it very tough to get high percentage shots. Yeah, they do mix it up. Scarella will just throw different defenses in. William really, I mean, Gomez just causing, causing a lot of problems for Dublovic. I don't know if he's 100% Dublovic. Looks like he's just gone to the arena. But Simonovic started really well. The team do need more from the young player. And he's, he's made a couple of twos and a three early. And then for Dia, he's been sensational. Well, I mean, Spain. Jaime Verdias just alluded to there again. It's interesting when he's on the court with Lorenzo Brown because Lorenzo Brown has excellent vision. But ladies and gentlemen, make sure you download Courtside 1891 to get the best stream schedules and scores. We have the FIBA Eurobasket, the FIBA America Cup. And later this month, we have the FIBA Women's World Cup hosting Australia. You can watch it live on Courtside 1891. Simonovic now with the bench, take a bit of a breather. Zora Nikolic start as the center hit. Now remember, Nemanja Radovic is also in this in the backcourt. Mikhailovic along with Petr Popovic. Now Dubovic, he has returned there. He's on the bench, so hopefully we'll see him back in the game here for Montenegro. Popovic now looking for Radovic. Radovic now looking to bait. Post up here against Wacho. Now it's going to be called against Wacho. Hernan Gomez. Yeah, just too much contact there in the post. Good job by Radovic, recognizes he's got the mismatch. And draws the foul immediately on Herman Gomez. Careless pass there. Stays glaring again for Montenegro. Now Garuba. Brizuela now, Brizuela going baseline. There's another pick and roll now, Garuba, top of the key, find it, watch out. Watch him left wide open, takes a three wide. Watch him, nails it. Yeah, and a, almost a steal by Diaz. But with Garuba in the game, who's going to stay inside the whole time, that allows Hunt, Herman Gomez, Wancho, to get outside. And catch, and sh catch and knocks down that three. Well, again, it's paying dividends, of course, by Scariolo changing up his lineup here by having Garuba and Wancho on the bench. Depth now looking very different. And again, the confidence looking up much better here for Spain. Drobniak now. One screen here, looking for options. Trying to hang the other little shot again. Hits the back rim, can't get it. Is now finding Rudy Fernandez. This is the alley finding Garuba kicks out for well up. This is beautiful ball movement. The end product is there. And you've got to love it. That is Spanish basketball at its best. Yeah, what a catch from Garuba in midair and the pass right on time into the corner. And the three pointer by Vizela is perfect. That pass deserved. A three-pointer to be knocked down. That was just great team play from Spain. They were looking a lot better, and you've called it. I think Scariola may have stumbled on something here. Tweak things, and look at the way they can play now right through their roster. 
Derrick as well as Scott and Peso, Fudikaha Malaga, the ACB and the Basque Champions League. I mean, he's been the leading player for this team during the qualification rounds. He has eight points so far in the game, two for four for the perimeter. Yeah, when you move the ball like that, guys, they're going to get wide open. Herman Gomez a little bit further up the sideline made the previous one. Rosella deep in the corner just knocks that down from the super pass from Garuba. Look at Diaz again, Josh. He's all over the inbound there. Nearly got another still. That's two deflections now or close still. Whoa. Whoa, he's right. Alberto Diaz is correct. That came off a of Drobniak. Going here in the backcourt. Kind of Radovich. Radovich left wide open. He's got to take it. He's got to. Spain now just inviting Montenegro to shoot from the perimeter. And lead by 16 points. The foul is going to be called against Drobniak. And Radovich did look comfortable taking that shot. And squared up after a couple of seconds and he has knocked them down in previous games. But, uh, just hit the front of the rim on that effort, and then Brazella at speed, the other end, draws the foul from Jumpy. Well, sideline ball now here, Rudy Fernandez. He's down the ball now. Montenegro going into a 2 3 zone. He is now finding Brazuela. Brazuela's got eight points so far. A little bit shorter now, gets his own rebound. Oh, Brazuela now. Wow, what happened? Just a wide open look there. Point ball game now. Montenegro again stumbled here, lost the rhythm, just trying to find an identity here in this game. Well, Dubovich now spins over, it's a pump fake hit, doesn't get it. Garuba, great defense. Garuba now finding Rudy Fernandez. Cross court as well. Wide open, it's made two three pointers. Make that three. Tres puntos, por favor. A super play again from Spain. From one side of the floor to the other, Brazella, same place, same result. Might see point ball game now. Popovich with the ball in his hands. Richard Perry's been very quiet now. Finding Radovich. Radovich, that's much better now. More aggressively attacking the basket there for Montenegro. Yes. Good move from Radovich. Really got close to the hoop there. Just dropped it over the front of the rim. Diaz now finding for as well. He's got a hot hand here so far. Three three pointers. The Rudy Cajamalaga player. And now this could be a little bit more in here for Spain because Rudy Fernandez just taking a shot there to the knee and hopefully he's going to be okay. Yeah, Brazil taking all the time he needed on that three. Identical spot knocks it down, so that's two in a row from that from that corner. Well, Diaz now looking to get this one down, find it. Fernandez. Alberto Diaz, a good hands by Kendrick Perry. Perry now breaking down the defense. Perry now all the way with an anger on him. Gets the yeah, one. Well, Dr. KP is going to go to the free throw line here for the three point play. Yeah, fantastic D by Perry breaking things up. Splits the two defenders and goes round the final one. Diaz gets in position to take the charge, but Perry just avoids it. Nice touch off the glass. 
Kendrick Perry is going to the ACB next season to play for Unicaja Malaga. And that was just a reminder to Alberto Diaz. In game time, we're going to be on the same side. But in practice, I'm going to be giving you the business night in, night out on the south coast of Spain. Yeah, that's a good move for Perry. Going to Spain, that league will, will test him, but also suit, sort his, suit his style of play as well. Lorenzo Brown now, shaking back into the game into Spain. Juan Garuba. As well now, baseline as well. Kick out, finds. And then Gomez in the corner. And Juancho Segundovez hits another triple. And Juancho Gomez coming off the bench in that corner. I think Spain's favorite corner at the moment. They keep feeding them there. There's another nice three point shot. Plenty of arc on that. Good rotation. Back to a 17-point ball game now. Dublin now, Radovic in the lane. Radovic wasn't expecting the pass now. Under the basket, he's got to finish it. Oh, he missed again. Turns it over. That's going to be a foul there. That's going to be called a Kendrick Perry. Yeah, Radovic does need to finish. He cut to the basket on that bounce pass. Just couldn't finish it. And here's the three again. Penetrate. Nice kick into the corner. And Herman Gomez all alone knocks it down. Well, Lorenzo Brown now coming off the screen here with Garuba. Kicks out to Rudy now and again. He was hit three three points. Well, Dario Brizuela. Esta Fuego, this guy's on fire. He's not missing tonight, Graham. <laughs> That's just sensational. Bit further up the sideline, just catch and shoot. Montenegro can't get anywhere near him on the defensive end. Up as well again, he's shown it time and time in the qualifiers. Mihailovic now splits the defense. It goes in with a beautiful little float of it. Montenegro needs to be more aggressive attacking the basket. And again, getting closer to the hoop, putting Spain under, the, under pressure and gets the score. River goes baseline. Foul has been called. Dubovic again just exposed a little bit against the quicker, more athletic Garuba. Just can't get across to. It's a beautiful no look from Rudy Fernandez. He realizes he's got shooters all around him and facilitates the pass to keep the ball moving around the outside. And the Spanish bench up. Happy, looking relaxed, and in complete control here, Josh. Like, I like what Scariolo did there as well. Saying to his players, sit down, of course. You don't want to pick up any technical fouls here. Well, Macho's feeling it right now. Macho now, no foul called there. And it's a turnover for Spain. Yeah, the prompt, prompt for Wancho, they're trying to find his brother, Willie. He's left the, left the ground, he's trying to make the pass in midair. And turns it over. Well, Samanovic back in the game here in the big lineup now for Montenegro. They've got to capitalize here. Halevich now looking to come off one screen. Kicks out to Dubovic. Dubovic now wide up for three. Dubovic nails it in the corner. Yeah, smart play from Dubovic, hasn't it? Any joy going inside, so steps out, knocks down a three. Lorenzo Brown now kicking out to Lopez out of Stegi. Kendrick Perry now putting his hand to Cookie Jar. Dishing off now, finds Popovich. Popovich avoid the block. Good defense by Juancho. And another steal. Well, they got numbers here. Now, Simonovic. Well, still going to throw it down, but a bit of a roller coaster there between possessions. Timeout's going to be called. These two teams want to talk it over. Well, good defense by Dr. KP. In the end, Simonovic finishes the layup. Yeah. They failed on the first transition. Popovich couldn't get it to go. This time a simplified two on one. Pass ahead. Simonovic back in the game. Back in the points. Si no la dan al poste bajo, esto es short. 
Estar arriba, pongo y volvemos. Porque es buen short. Ok, sí. Manda, manda, mandamos izquierda, short y volvemos. Ok. Izquierda. Jugamos. Jugamos 25. 25. Well, Sergio Scariolo wants from his players, of course, a bit more composure. Yeah. Probably tried to eliminate the costly turnovers that they've been committed. You just got to remember, play like Kendrick Perry. I mean, he is all over the place when it comes to defense. He is just such a phenomenal on-the-ball defender. Yeah, and that sequence started with Juan Herman Gomez throwing the ball away. Then they've, they've turned it over twice. And Perry was able to facilitate to Simonovic. Darab as well now in the backcourt here along with Lorenzo Brown as Jaime Perdilla and Lopez Alastegui as well. Lorenzo now using the pick and pop now with Perdilla. Turn it over yet one more time now. Perry is going to go all the way. Perry now, no foul called off the backboard. Great defense and now they got numbers here. As well up all the way and that finishes. Dario as well up. Cool as you like. That's a great attack of the basket with Perry coming over to try and block it. He finishes it with the right hand over the top of the hoop. Well, Dukovic now trying to post up here. Kicks out to Kalevich. Well, Perry now, a bit of time and space left wide open, takes a three pointer. Doesn't get it. Yeah, Willie Hernan Gomez again securing the rebounds. Crossover work now going all the way. Oh, you gotta love this guy. Lorenzo Brown is just cooking it out. Wow, what a tri triple sequence that was. Crossover and attacks the basket, and Montenegro's defense just seemed to be frozen. Lorenzo Brown now just putting on a clinic at the moment. As a foul is going to be called against Jaime Pradilla. Seba Saiz along with Jaime Fernandez. Check into the game for both Jaime Perdia and Dario Buzuela. Tokyo Albach player plays in the B League in Japan. Game at the moment. Nice little back to play there by Doncic. It's something that Montenegro need to explore a little bit more, get some more points from inside the paint. Yeah, definitely when Radoncic is on, he's not going to shoot the three too much, so get him to the front of the hoop. Brown now coming off the screen here. Ronald Lopez out of Stegi. Six the shot clock now for Lorenzo. Lorenzo's got to get something going here. Got it off in time, man. He kisses that one off the backboard. Well, when in doubt, you just go to Lorenzo. That was so cool and calm. He knew what the shot clock was doing. Crosses over, gets it to go off the glass. Perry now coming off one screen here. Down the middle now, finding Simonovic. Simonovic putting up a wild shot off the backboard. Doesn't get it. At the moment, Montenegro. Very little identity. Out of bounds, that will go possession back to Spain. I mean, look at this. I mean, one legged, that's a trick shot. You gotta ask the question. What does Lorenzo Brown actually practice that move in practice? Yeah, well, he had Dublovic on him, and as soon as he's got past him, no help was able to come. And uh, just great touch and concentration to finish that playoff. Jaime Fernandez in the lane, it's too easy right now. Montenegro, the defense, not aggressive enough, just allowing Spain too many good looks in and around the basket. Well, Kendrick Perry now, kicks out now, finds Radovic. And again, another costly turn over there. And Graham, you've got to ask the question, what does Montenegro have to do just to get back in this game. Well, they've got to take care of the ball. I think Radovic may have been better served just to stay out a bit further on the outside on the, on the baseline there. Then he might have had a mid-range shot. 
then he's thrown it away. They've just got to take care of the ball and weather this storm. Well, Jaime Fernandez now on the screen now, finding Willie under the basket. And Seba Saez, I missed it with the tip in by Willie, and he flexes the guns. Muy fuerte. That's a tough move from William and Gomez. Anticipates the miss from Saez and puts it straight back in. Helovich now getting a handoff. Tries to split the defense, goes under the basket, takes it a flexion, but it's going to be possession back to Montenegro. We trail now by 21 points here against Spain's dominance. Yeah, Montenegro struggling to be able to stretch the floor. They haven't got a lot of three-point shooters on the floor. Radoncic wants to go to the, to the hoop. So does Radovic on the hole. Baseline ball now here to Montenegro. Samanovic now, and that's much better. But Samanovic, I mean, they're just missing these wide open looks. It's going to cost them. And just now, final Lorenzo Brown. Lorenzo now having a mismatch. Got it by Marcos Samanovic. Pulls up in the mid range. Doesn't get it. Rebound now secured. And now Montenegro can push this one. seconds to go here. Montenegro, if they play the cards right, Graham, they can get a two for one. Yeah. Helovich now gets another turnover. And again, no identity, no purpose. Montenegro almost feel like they've given up here. Yes, a strange foul as well because they're already in team fouls, they're just a handing two free throws to Spain. Well, this time out, let's go in and listen to Boshka Radovic, because again, I agree with you, the last foul there by Mihailovic is almost succumbing to defeat there. I give it up at that point, and you're right. Two free throws. I gotta feel bad here for Boshka Radovic. Let's go and listen to what these coaches have to say. Sí, pero es que los grandes tienen que estar abajo, abajo. No, de, no subir a poste alto. Tienen que estar mirando lo que hacen sus grandes y punto. ¿Ok? Ahora. Habla. Te voy yo para arriba, te vale, vas vale, tú. Vale, habla, vale, vale. habla, habla todos, chicos. Vamos, vamos. Yo diría, si no, necesitamos la falta, no la hagamos. As we see some of the highlights, Simonovic had a really good start to the game. As he feeds off Kendrick Berry, playing with a really nice flow then. He's the leading scorer right now, Marcus Simonovic, nine points. Kendrick Berry at the moment with five points. He's taken three three-pointers. Hasn't been able to knock any down, but he is five points and five assists away there from getting a double-double. Spain are making it very difficult for Montenegro to get into their offense. Dublovic, apart from the three, has had a really tough, tough game against these mobile Spanish pigs. Jaime Fernandez, this is the first free throw. Makes the second one now. 22 point lead in Spain with 38.1 seconds left. Just getting a handoff here with Mihailovic now. Something just needing a spark here in the offense of Montenegro. For Perry, there's a three point. Three is up, it's no good. Seven sides now. Jaime Fernandez just holding on to his ear there. May have just taken a shot to the head on the rebound. Nine, ten seconds difference between game clock and shot clock. Lorenzo now. From the crossovers, kicks out to Jaime Fernandez. Jaime now going down the middle, all the way. Jaime, can he finish it? No, he can't. Well, ladies and gentlemen, at the end of the first half, Spain lead this one 53 to 31 over Montenegro. 2022 FIBA Eurobasket Group A fixture live here in Tbilisi, Georgia. We'll leave you with some stats and some highlights from the first half. Yeah, tough, tough half. Montenegro 
just haven't been able to get going. And Spain on the whole in complete control. And there's the stats field goal, 67% for Spain. Free throws, only 25%, one of four. 25 rebounds for Spain, six rebounds for Montenegro, 13 assists, three steals for Spain, six steals for Montenegro. And Simonovic is the top scorer on nine. Montenegro Brizella, who's been on fire from behind the arc, 16, and Pradilla, who had a really good start to the game, on nine. Well, here are some of the key highlights here from the first half of Graham. You know, it started off as a great game in the beginning. You know, both teams just had showed no fear at attacking the rim, and they went back and forth. But where did it go wrong for Montenegro? Well, Spain started making their shots, not giving them any second chances. And they've made a lot of key threes. But Perry hasn't been able to get on the floor where he wants to get to. Dublovic has had no joy, certainly inside, just a 1-3. Brown has been, right from the moment he came on the floor in the warm-ups, he was in a total cocoon of concentration and just sharing the basketball, knocking his shots down. And again, Willie just able to get himself round Dublovic and finish at the hoop. Simonovic with the high release three. And that was the last of his basket since then. He's Missed a couple close in and turned it over a couple of times. And Pradia there showing that he's got range and he loved that. Of course, Pradia started instead of Wancho Herman Gomez, who then came in and did this, made a couple of threes. And then he's then just gone off the ball and turned it over. So, so Jess Gariola just managing his team, getting the hot players on the court. And Rosea, no one hotter than him from behind the arc. Dario as well as we may have mentioned. You know, four three points so far here in the game. 16 points. Key member for Unica Hamalaga in the ACB in Spain. But the key thing, of course, is Spain is they're going to keep maintaining the pressure, of course, keep getting those good looks in the perimeter. If they continue to light it up, this game could be done and dusted very early on in the second half. Yeah, that could be another big margin, similar to the margin from Eurobasket 2017. I covered that game in Clues the Parker five years ago. And there's Mikhailovic, just giving us a, a glimpse of what he can do. They need a lot more of that in the second half. And then, look at this, he's totally out. Not many players out, think and out, manoeuvre Kendrick Perry, but Lorenzo Brown's has done that. And because he's done it so quick, no reaction at all from the Montenegrin defence. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as it stands here, Spain 53, Montenegro 31 here. Second half coming up, we'll be back just over 11 minutes but as you can see we'll leave you with some of the remaining highlights at the moment Spain in total control we'll be back soon for the second half who will you become when the moment arrives and you're carrying the expectations of an entire nation Representing your people and their dreams, the colorful faces in the streets, the screaming fans in the stands. It's time to make your move. All eyes on you, all hope, all heart. Because when you win, you win for all. Nice Rosky, trying to weave his way past Sorkin. And he gets the score. Well, he seemed like he had a direct line to the basket, kind of went the other way, finishing with the left. Jokic back from Davi Novak, passes out to the double team. Gunaric takes a dribble, three point shot again. Back to back threes for Marco Gunaric, back to back assists for Jokic. Veteran move, throwing it off the back of Abdiya on the inbounds. Smith to the corner. Simon is shot. Oh, Makovic comes over and dunks it, Mark. Makovic with a big throw down. Didn't stop working. Another steal here. Yanez. Oh! Hey! Take off. The 35-year-old can fly. 
What a highlight. 0.3, you can't come down with the ball. You've got to tip the ball to the rim. And they get it. And it's an and one down low. Coach loves it. Absolute non-concentration by Great Britain defense. Great hands. Montecchio does so much more than scores. Pissu drops it down. Oh! Lamb, what a block! Neil Smith, ball screen, goes upstairs! And one. Beautiful play here. Yes, sir. Kulame drops it inside, great play. Oh! Oh! Throw that down and not, no need to do anything but get back on defense. Listen, that boy has made me stand out on my seat twice in a row. Big dunk! Again, forcing the play, there's no need to. Here come the Ukraine, they look long. Oh, what a play! Incredible look up to the rim. And he asked for the ball, put his hand up, he said, hey, throw it, and I'll go get it.
Welcome back everybody, there's the focus player from the first half, uh, Montenegro. Kendrick Perry, five points, five assists, not scoring as heavily as he would like, but it's it's tough out there against a very determined Spain, Spanish team. They're making it really difficult for Montenegro to get going. There's Spain's game leaders, Brazil with an excellent 16 points, ground five assists, and really Herman Gomez, 10 rebounds. Already dominant performance from the Spanish. Well, it's all about Derek Brazilla right now, leading the load from the perimeter. But again, you can see here the changing, as we've already mentioned. The lineups here, it's just phenomenal here what Sergio Scarro has done. You see some more space, more rhythm. Key players getting shots. It's almost like when you have two superstars on the floor. It's either a case of want too many shots or I don't want it because you're trying not to be too selfish. Yeah, exactly. And it's like maybe one Herman Gomez brother at a time. I know they're on the floor together. In fact, they're involved in a turnover. But if Willie Herman Gomez is doing his thing, and one show is off as we look at Lorenzo Brown, eight points, five assists, another key player and just doing a great job for Spain but if one shows on without Willie one show could just do his thing from behind the arc or has got space to attack the bucket maybe and the same for Willie Herman Gomez it's it's just shuffling that pack of cards and there's no better person than Scariola to do that well, Lorenzo Brown of course made a huge impact here for the Spanish national team in the backcourt yet being another lead point guard really does help them out of course and you know you know, realistically, I think we're going to see both these two teams in Berlin. I mean, it's a hypothetical situation, but it's going to be key, of course, when they get to the round of 16, get into those knockout stages. And, you know, at that point, then you're playing the best of the best of every group. You know, 2022 FIBA Eurobasket, we've been hosted here in Tbilisi, Georgia, Milan, Prague, and Cologne. Once you get to Berlin, that's when the big boys come ready to play. Yeah, and uh, group bit, group. Group B is really strong, so any four, any four that get through in that group is going to be tough wherever you finish in this group. So they've got to be ready, got to keep building momentum. Montenegro do not want to let this game get away too early. They've got to keep competing with Spain. And still, Simonovic has had a decent first half. He needs to excel what he's done in the first half. They want it more than us. That's simple as that. They want it more than us. We got to show heart right now. Regardless of the score, we got to show heart right now. Come on. Okay. Let's play now. Now let's play, Marco. Aggressive is catcher. Sema, show me. Pero pintas, vas en bote con Lorenzo. They use this. He chose the pick, right? Go aggressive. And you see option. Jaime, sube, sube. Me quedo en el mismo lado. Sube, sí, sube. Vale. El inicio, el inicio. Duro, somos hábitos. Vamos, vamos, vamos. Well, there you can see, of course, teams getting ready to come out here. Now, Spain, of course, now you heard what Kendrick Perry said. Forget what the score is. we got to respond. They want it more than us right now. Well, there is the QR code for the official FIBA Hero Basket app. Customize your experience. Remember, we've got to go to Berlin on the September of 10th, the 10th of September, excuse me. We get all the best live news and stats that matters to you most. Remember, that's the official FIBA Eurobasket app. Download it on your Android, your smartphone, or your tablet to get all the very best here with 2022 FIBA Eurobasket. Well, Graham, I like what Kendrick Perry said. It was very calm, of course. That he just wanted more than us right now, so we have to respond. That's what we're going to see now from Montenegro. Are we going to see that response, or is Spain going to go on to dominate this game furthermore? now just picking up the loose ball the pass coming from Lorenzo Brown will split the defense and just kicks up and there's a turnover now Kendrick Perry pushes one this was left wide open again it's one of those if he misses that shot it's gonna be a bad shot but if he makes it you know you build that confidence but you can't fold it for not pulling the trigger there when you're down by 22 you want to just get into some rhythm here in the second half yeah, he, he, didn't, he didn't look as though he wanted to take that shot, so just keep rotating the ball around. 
Perry now. Use the screen here for Marko Simonovic. Lines to Halevic now. Halevic put the works on. Good defense by Lopez out of Stegi. Now Lorenzo. Lorenzo Brown goes in. He finishes that one in transition. Yes. Not enough space to make that bounce pass. Spain get the steal. Lorenzo Brown with a quick finish up the other end in transition. That a pop fish now pulls up in the mid range. A long two point, and again, that's what they need here. Again, maybe should have just taken a little step back there to make it a three pointer. Yeah, foot on the line, but good sign to see the ball go through the hoop for Montenegro. Now they need to stop. Well, 22 point deficit here. Trying to go down here to Willie Hernan Gomez. Got it by Dublovich. Willie now trying to put the moves here. Willie goes up. A travel in violation. We'll have to check the footwork again, but he, he missed the shot, but he got the, ended up with the shot he wanted. Got basket side of uh, Dublovic. Slavich now here. Heavily guided by... Some movement now off the ball here. Popovich has been guided by Jaime Fernandez. In the corner now, this Marco Slavich has made one through tonight. In and out, doesn't get it. Now oh, it's going to be caught against Willie Hernan Gomez. Yeah, well, the missed shot from Simonovic, that's the first time Dublovic has had any joy trying to get after offensive rebounds. Baseline ball now to Montenegro. Mihailovic <laughs> goes down the middle, Mihailovic lost control of the ball, and that went up to the double Zedro up in this arena. Defense again by Spain. And it's just the way, it just highlights the way things are going for Montenegro. Their best player, one of their top three players, completely loses control of the ball and heading to the hoop. Oh, Hernan Gomez with the monster duck. And again, where was the defense? Somebody give them a QR code. <laughs> Perry now lays that one off the backboard and avoids the block. A big Willie out there. Willie Oman Gomez goes up, no foul called. Oh, I mean, that's wide open in the corner. Eight on the shot clock now. Lorenzo trying to put the moves there on Simonovic. Lorenzo Brown going out the way, kicks it to Fernandez in the corner. Three is up, no good. Simonovic just throws a careless pass. Yeah, that's unfortunate. And not enough space for that pass to be thrown. We can see the intention, but easily picked off by Fernandez. Oh, Willie puts it up, draws a foul. The foul is on the ground. I think he would have thought he was in the process of shooting, but it's going to be a baseline ball here to Spain. The first team foul here for Montenegro in the third quarter. Still a 22 point deficit. Lorenzo now coming off a variety of screens. It's a wide open Jaime Perdia. Well, Perdia's made one through, takes another one. Jaime Perdia from downtown. You see the smile on his face, but the young man just took his time. Simonovic was coming out and he just drained it right in his face. Well, Simonovic pick it pop. He tries another three pointer, doesn't get it. Takes a pass in Willie Hernan Gomez. Here we now. Makes a bit of contact, and this time we'll go to the free throw line. Smart move there by Willie Hernan Gomez. Again, tough cover for Simonovic. He's so smart developing, developing into such an elite four or five Willie Hernan Gomez. And look at Bradia's shot. That is as good as it gets from behind the arc. And the smile, that's a couple of times now. Just before that, don't forget that great pass that he made to Willie Hernan Gomez for the dunk a couple of possessions ago. So he's Doing a bit of everything, Jaime Pradier. Well, Willie Hernan Gomez will go to the free throw line now for these two shots so far in the game. He has eight points, 11 rebounds. He's now okay. could go to a double double if he makes these two free throws right here. Well, was born in the capital city of Spain in Madrid. Now remember, he was selected in the 2015 NBA draft in the second round at 35.
by the Philadelphia 76ers. Has since played for the New York Knicks, the Charlotte Hornets. Currently now with the New Orleans Pelicans. Well, makes a free throw. There you go, El Senor, double-double. Outstanding play from Herman Gomez. Well, now Mikhailovich here kicks this one out to Kendrick Perry. Perry for the three-point. He's got to make this one. Again, he's been really struggling from downtown. Kicks out the Perdia, goes down low here to Hernan Gomez. Now Fernandez, good ball movement here from Spain. And Lopez, out of Stegi for three, doesn't get it. Really Hernan Gomez just fighting for all the rebounds. So Fernandez goes in. Fernandez, just too much on it. Radovich with a rebound. Mihailovic goes in, foul oh, has been called Ken. I like that from Sergio Scariolo. I mean, he didn't agree with the call, but how quickly was he to turn around to his bench to say, hey, Sietese, sit down now. Yeah. I'm picking up another technical foul here. Yeah, Brown takes the swipe then. He gets a lot of the ball, but a bit of the hand too, as Mihailovic is attacking the basket. Again, as they stand here, it's been a disastrous game so far. Mihailovic was their best player yesterday. And what was an emphatic victory against Bulgaria, but at the moment, maybe it's the mental, the physical fatigue, but just haven't looked like the same team, have they, Graham? No, they're not looking the same team. They're not sharp, they're turning it over at crucial moments. And Spain have been outstanding, knocking down shots. 9 of 15 from behind the arc, Spain. 16 or 25 from two-point range. That's pretty tough to, to handle. Lorenzo Brown coming up on another screen here. Willie Hernan Gomez. And is down the middle. Another foul has been committed. That's going to be the 13th foul here for Montenegro here in the third quarter. Gomez now looking for a handoff, no foul called. Back to Willie. Willie really trying to make one more pass. He turns it over. Five point deficit now. Halevic well. That was on the ground, so it's going to be a baseline ball here to Montenegro. And now Joel Pará checking into the game here for Jaime Fernandez. Said it was based on such a sideline ball here is Mihailovic. All inbound the ball now. Mihailovic now catch and shoot, takes a three-pointer, six it, cutting it down a 22-point ball game. Yeah, he's a shining light for Montenegro through this tournament, and they need him to really light up now as he catch and shoots the three-pointer from the top. Joel Pará going baseline, look for an option to kick out there to Lopez out of Stegi. He's got a shot clock now. Really trying to post up, and now we're at the six here. He's got to get something going, finds Perdia under the basket. Oh, he missed a wide open look. And now Montenegro here, trying to build some steam here, trying to build some confidence. Dubovic takes a three, it's up, up, and it's no good. But Graham, was that the best option to go for? Another quick three. I mean, Dubovic can make that when he's in the groove, but he's just not quite there. Lorenzo wraps around with a bit of a magical fangirl. He puts a bit of a dance move. Well, Lorenzo has stopped by Lando. He is just dancing on the court. Yeah, weaving his way to the basket. Got lucky with the shooter's roll, but he deserves that. Well, Mihailovic made his last three point. Again, he's six out one. Just trying to keep Montenegro with him being going into the fourth quarter. And again, off the dribble. He's got such elevation. 
great high release on that three. Nothing but net. Lorenzo moving to the defense now. Another three point at the three is up. The three is good from Lopez. Adostegui. Yeah, no hesitation. Wide open three. Adostegui. The ball movement. Unselfish play. One side of the this is the crossover and then just jumps his way around Kendrick Perry. Well, some changes now. That's beautiful. Alberto Diaz coming back into the game here for Spain. Along with Garib as well, the top scorer. Well, just under four minutes to go now in the fourth quarter. Spain maintaining dominance over this game. 24-point lead. Kendrick Perry put the ball in the hands of Dino Radoncic. Radovic here trying to post up. Perry now going back to Radovic. Radovic going in with a sort of a dream hook shot. Kind of love the elevation on that. Yeah, that's old school. He hasn't quite got the elevation. There's some of the other bigs around him, so he goes to his strength. Nice soft touch. Diaz now trying to orchestrate something here for the Spanish offense. Rizuela, well, he's had a hot hand this evening. Let's get that one. Well, Joel Pará trying to fight for the rebounds. And now Montenegro trying to by 22. Radovich, Radovich opens up a three. And Radovich cutting it down to a 19-point ball game. Maybe, just maybe, you never know. The comeback could be on the cards here for Montenegro. A nice bounce pass from Perry and the three from Radovich. As well up. Two screens and again. Doncic just, just trying to put his hand in the cookie jar. It will be Spain Bulls. Hancho is going to come back and give him one with Garuba, but a timeout has been called. Let's go. Sergio Scariola wants a little bit more composure. You've got to love a big man that makes three pointers. Yeah, that's a nice little pass across the three point arc from Perry. Little no look. And Fradia could not get out to Radovic. That's what Montenegro need. They need plenty of that. Some good defense too. Dentro, mirar la esquina al lado contrario. Ok, tenemos que pisar la pintura. Acuerdo? Venga, vamos. Let's move on and Gomez. Yeah, he's been phenomenal so far in the group stages for the Spanish national team. Yeah, he certainly has consistent every game. Ten points, twelve rebounds for his double double, and two assists. No turnovers. Doesn't need the ball much to be effective. Well, Garuba now catching up the pick and roll. Another turnover. Montenegro. Another chance. Drop me. I can transition. Goes over the high. Missed up. Yeah, Radovic. Just did a yoga move there where he caught the ball. Just <laughs> Squad position. In the corner now, Joel Pará. Pará down the middle now. And Petrosha gets rejected. Radovich with the block. Pará goes in. Pará with a hook shot. Can't finish it. Radonchich comes up with a loose ball now. Under two minutes to go. Spain. Spain leading by 19 points. Now posting up here, turns around, takes a bit of a soft effort there. Hernan Gomez gets a rebound. You can see Vasco Radovic unimpressed with his shot selection there from Radovic. 
Well, now goes in for Well, up. Doesn't finish it. Rebound again, secured. Montenegro again. Just really surviving off the slim pickets here for the Spanish ball shot selection. It's a big line up here for Montenegro. Drogniak will step back and take a three-pointer. Can't get it. Well, Hernan Gomez has made two three-pointers. Now doesn't get the third one. Sergio Scarello now applauding his team's effort. Drogniak there draws a foul. It's going to be two free throws now. Montenegro chance to cut the and a potential two for one if you can make these two free throws. Yeah, absolutely, Drogneck struggling in this game. Missed the layup, but he gets the chance to get to the free throw line now. He's scoreless. This is registered. No, no stats at all. No points. No rebounds. No assists. And prior to the game, 7.3 points a game and 2.3 assists. He needs to get back up to those levels. Well, I think of his opening game, of course, he played a phenomenal game of basketball, but as you said, he really has struggled so far. Well, you go Dropiak again, only 22 years of age. Currently playing a boot chin This is the second free throw again, a wasted opportunity there. Yeah, that just really typifies. Now things are going for him and for Montenegro at the moment. Well, Montenegro going into a 2-3 zone. The question is, can Spain break this down? Well, Wancho with a penetration. Wancho with the mid-range, puts up a little floater, doesn't get it, but an offensive rebound by Joel Pará. There's well now, six seconds here on the shot clock. The last moments. Well, it's not the worst foul to give away, but seconds left Spain will get the ball sideline Nikolic night good foul bad foul yeah good well they got they got the foul to give if he hadn't have fouled him Brizella had got round him turned the corner then there have been all sorts of issues well sideline ball now for Diaz trying to get the ball in down finds Brizuela Brizuela step back trademark puts it up doesn't get it well ladies and gentlemen at the end of the third quarter Spain now holding on to their leads and lead by 19 points, 67 to 48 here against Montenegro. And we'll be back in two minutes, but we'll show you some stats and some highlights. And we'll listen to what both coaches have to say here. Highlights, of course, and Lorenzo Brown. I mean, we've said it time and time again a massive revelation in the Spanish national team here in the 2022 FIBA Eurobasket. Yeah, and then Perry on the other side, two similar players in the way they affect their team. That's the pass pass scenario for Bredia. You've got to love that keenness to share the ball. So after that assist, then he knocks the three down as well. He's doing a bit of everything. Really impressed with him starting the game. And that seems to have really stepped him up to the next level, Josh. Oh, absolutely, of course. You know, I think he's I think he's done a good job of he's yeah. trying to stabilize the offense of Spain. I think one of the problems they had here in the first few games, two of these superstars in the starting lineup. By having that balance, taking Garuba and putting Macho on the bench, not only does it make the bench strong, it just allows a little bit more freedom for them to play here. Maybe they might change and go back with, you know, if they get to Berlin. We will see, of course, but Darab as well. Kaha Malaga player had a very good season in the Basketball Champions League. I mean, he has shot the lights out here this year. Yeah, he's four of nine from behind the arc, but he just, to give Spain their lead, he just went off and made three straight, and that stretched the lead and put Spain in this really strong position. by 19 points. Comeback is not impossible. 
but it's going to be very difficult here. Every possession is going to have to count here for Montenegro. Perry now. Switch on defense. They turn it right over. Yeah, now here in transition. Darrow as well now comes up with the ball. Go down low here to Garuba. Garuba tries to spin against Dubovic. Diaz. We're under 10 on the shot clock now. As well, up finding Garuba. They turn it right back over again. Graham, it's getting very sloppy. Finds Radoncic. Radoncic hangs in the end. He draws the foul. So Dino Radoncic will go to the charity strike. The foul is on Garuba. That's a good attack from Perry. Just drops it off. And Garuba commits the foul. But that's good aggression for Radoncic. He's done a solid job. He's not scoring big for his team, but he's getting rebounds. Two free throws now here to Dino Radoncic. Also another young prospect currently playing for Castadema on Datagosa in the Basketball Champions League. Actually started his career in Madrid as a youngster. So again, he will know all about these Spanish players from playing in the ACB. And again, what a tough player he is. Also played for Iberista Tenerife and Moreta San Pablo Borgos briefly in the 2018-19 season, the year before they won the Basketball Champions League. Yeah, he's shown a lot of promise for a number of years. He just needs to have some standout games and a standout season to really cement his position in Spanish basketball. Well, Pará now turns it over. 17-point ball game now, Kenji Perry. Nobody running with him, of course. I mean, a poor transition by Montenegro. Perry looking for people around him, but there was no one there, Graham. There's the pick and pop now with Dubovic. Dubovic now fakes the pass, takes the three-pointer, doesn't get it. Yeah, they're out, out of sync there, and Dubovic looked for the back door. That wasn't on. See the hustle from, from Popovic. He's had to pivot and square up, take the shot. And but looking at the personnel, Dubovic and Illich that's on, they're not the quickest of guys. So it's, maybe it's down to a personnel thing that no one was ahead of Perry. Lopez out of Thegi now with the ball in his hands. Trying to get the ball to Juancho. He is now finding Garuba. Garuba under the basket, almost fumbles it, gets caught a double team. Another turnover. Yeah, good defense by Montenegro. They're forcing a the turnover from Garuba. Well, Diaz now putting suffocated defense here against Popovic. Popovic now, bounce pass, another great job there by Diaz. And Garuba still has it. Garuba's going to go all the way. Garuba throws a foul again. It's a scramble right now for both these two teams. No rhythm whatsoever. Yeah, they just can't seem to get their hand on the ball. They're turning it over. Garuba wanting to be the point center there, attacking the basket. I think he's just invented a new position. He's lucky that it was Illich trying to, who's another big player, trying to get the ball off him, and uh, he ends up at the free throw line. Well, Garuba's, well, another key player, of course. His minutes have been very much in and around this team because he plays for the Houston Rockets in the NBA. He makes his second free throw. Well, back to a 19 point ball game. Sideline ball now to Montenegro. Perry attacks now, kicks out. It's a big three in the corner. It's, up. it's no good, but it's a good look, Graham. Yeah, he has to take that. It was set up for him. On the seven and a half to go now. Spain leading by. 19 points. Finding Lopez out of Stegi. Steps back, takes a three of threes in the corner. It's no good. Pump 
Pitch with a rebound. Patrick Perry now putting the brakes on, now pulls up the mid range. The shot is up again. It's no good. But the tip in there by Dino Radoncic. Yeah, Dino doing what he's best at, just attacking the basket on that rebound. It's got really scrappy for Spain the last couple of possessions. Well, on this seven minutes to go now, 17 point ball game. Lopez out of Stegi, and the pain doesn't get it. The rebound secured by Popovich. Montenegro still need to believe in themselves. Perry now in the corner, finds Popovich, just keeps it alive. What another turnover now. 10 seconds here on the shot clock. Popovich coming up to set the screen. Perry now pulls up for a big three. Doesn't get it. Rebound by Hernan Gomez. Spin and base on the traveling violation. I think now Willie Hernan Gomez is going to come into the game here for Garuba. Yes, a couple of turnovers by Garuba on the inside. Helovich now. Something here for Montenegro. Down, down the lane now, puts up a wild finger roll. And now they're going to call a technical foul here against Mihailovic. They felt that he is not getting up, is he? He must have complained. There was a lot of contact there. Well, he is speechless at the moment. Well, another technical foul has been called on Dino Radoncic. So now it's going to be two free throws here for Spain, and they're going to get the ball back. Well, I've just got to be so careful what you said. That seemed to be really quick technical for Mihailovic, and then Radoncic has gone up to the refs, gesticulating and waving his hands around. That's, you know, they, they've got enough issues as it is being this far down to gift Spain two shots. I don't think Mihailovic can believe it right now, can he? No. He hasn't said a word. No. Just got to go again. Next, next possession. Let's get a steal. Let's get a deflection and get down the other end and score. Well, Diaz now here on the ball. Gonna throw this one down here to Willy Hernan Gomez. And Lopez out of Stegi. Really trying to go to work down. I think they're going to call an offensive foul there on Willie Hernan Gomez. You can see what he did there with his right arm. He just hooked Simonovic. Yeah, I'm surprised that we have to have another look, maybe, but he had the better of Radoncic there. Right there. Uh, that's how he's got the better of him. Okay. Now Mihailovic gives the ball in the hands here of Kendrick Perry. Perry now just trying to find a way to break this down. Simonovic. Two times though, they're going to call a foul there. And I think some of the Spanish players and coaches signaling for an unsportsmanlike foul. But I think it's just going to be a regular foul on the ground. Yeah, I think the issue there was Simonovic is trying to get the pass to Radoncic. But there's not enough space because Radoncic's natural movement is to go to the hoop. Ideally, there with the defense collapsing towards Simonovic, he wants to kick it out. It's been a couple of times when they've tried to get it in to Simonovic, they've just not able to get it done. In fact, looking at it from this angle, Radoncic was open. To play a play to a ball or not to play a ball, and it's just couldn't get it to him. Try to reach the ball. Normal speed from main camera. Normal speed from main camera. Yeah, from main camera. First, normal speed. Yeah, it's one. Okay. One more time. One more time. I think if Simonovic just caught that and passed it straight away, with as soon as he's dribbled it, the defense are all over him. Frustration foul when he's lost it. And let's see what happens. 
Well, that's going to be an interesting decision, that's for sure. Camera number four. So from camera, yeah, here. And uh, frame slowly. Frame, frame now, this is going to be tough for them because they've had the two technicals. If this is upgraded to a... If you lost the ball, one more the ball, serious the foul then. Here. Yeah, yeah, two more shots at possession. Grab the hand. Yeah. So it's, it's uh, not a legitimate attempt to play the ball. Yeah, he not play two balls, yeah, but it's yeah, not yeah. Uh, it's not like basketball moment. It's not basketball uh, moment, so we are great. Time 524, foul yeah. number 19, yeah, nine. Nine, wide. nine. We are and great to unsportsman like yeah. foul and shooter number uh, six. Yeah, yeah, shooter? yeah, number six. Number six, okay, yeah, five I confirm. Uh, unsportsman like foul number six, shooter uh, five. Wait, wait, wait. Time. Yeah. He'd made the pass when he was at the free throw line there, Josh. Yeah. Over yeah. the top, I yeah. think. Yeah. They'd have ended up with a dunk. Well, maybe there for a dunk to oh, absolutely. Yeah, I agree with you. That's, that's the unfortunate part, but then he's just responded with a bit of frustration again. It's not, the pass is not on. Maybe a. Well, it'd have to be a very low bounce pass to get below Stevie's. And, well, again, he's had some good moments. In this game, Simonovic, but that was a that was a big moment, and he's just not come that, come out the right side of it. Well, that's a very poor decision. You're absolutely right, of course, but the casting errors now. It's going to be two free throws to get the ball back. I mean, look, you can you can never say never in basketball. You know, with 5:23 to go, and you're down by plus 20 points, it's never going to look likely you're going to get back. But you know, crazy things have happened. Mm -hmm. Fouls like that you just leave yourself with no opportunity whatsoever. But you know, the body language, the way Montenegro have come out this game, really have struggled this evening. Yeah. And Spain have been completely opposite. Well, Spain had the big hiccup against Belgium, of course. So far, it's been a great response for them. Jaime Fernandez now in the air finds Willy Hernan Gomez. A 24 second violation. Spain now continue to put on the full court pressure here against Montenegro. Milovic now looking for a handoff. Get the ball in the hands of somebody. It seems like this now, Graham, the movement off the ball for Montenegro, it's very soft here. Yep. Kendrick Perry now ending the shot clock. Well, it was a matter of time. Kendrick Perry. It's yeah, a big three-pointer. Yeah, he bails Montenegro out there. No movement off the ball. And Perry elevates and knocks the three down. There's a shot in the corner by Lopez. Adostegui. Willy Hernan Gomez with a rebound. Willy Hernan Gomez. That's just too easy. I mean, he just bodies his way like a freight train. Yeah, a single hand. Well, wow, Macho got it still, but it's a layup. Macho got it <laughs> Pacho gets one still, missed layup, and then he almost gets another one. That's hustle. You got it. You... <laughs> Someone yeah. cool. Yeah. He's got to make, he's got to finish it. What a shot. Rizuela coming over with a hand in the face, and Willie Herman going and stepping out. But it's, that's a bailout for Montenegro, you know, it's right at the end of the shot clock. Incredible shot from Perry, but they're going to need more of that from all of the team. They're going to be able to drag themselves back into this. Well, 4-10 to go here. Let's go and listen now to Boshko Radovich, head coach of Montenegro, as his team trail by 20 points. Gomez, as usual, has just been the enforcer in this game for the Spanish national team. That presence they needed on the in the paint, that is. So due to the help with players such as Lorenzo Brown, his brother Macho, not to mention the likes of Jaime Fernandez in the backcourt. It's going to be a great game tomorrow when they play Turkey. Oh, sensational. Both Turkey playing well against Belgium, being really dominant. Court Max starting to move through the gears as well so they're gonna you know it's, it's gonna be for top spot potentially 
with Spain looking as though they're going to win here. Mihailovic was thinking that was very reckless. I mean, Mihailovic, maybe that's a frustration play. I don't think he's done that on purpose. I think he's lost his balance because he's not that kind of player. That was a little bit reckless. I think it's probably just the timing of the coming together. I don't think there's any because he's not that kind of player. You can see his reaction. He's yeah. saying sorry. He shocked away. himself. Yeah. You know what? Mihailovic is a true professional. I got to give him that. But Something they'll not want to do again, of course. Well, Fernandez now, we're going to throw down at Joel Pará. Is that a bounce? There will be Spain ball there, deep on the sideline. Nine seconds there on the shot clock. Jaime Fernandez is going to inbound this one. Juancho kicking off to Dara Brazuela. Now three seconds. Dara's got to get a shot off. Brazuela, one-legged fadeaway. Doesn't get it. Now goes out of bounds. Radonchic able to save it. And now Kendrick Perry down the middle. Perry finds Mihailovic. He tries another three-pointer. I don't know if you call that a pass or a shot, but he's going to get the assist. Well, I think that was a shot, but Simonovic was there at the front of the rim, running the, the court really hard. Gets his reward with two points. But it's those kind of plays that Montenegro have missed. The ability to get the ball up the court quickly and get something good. I mean, I know it's a missed shot, of course, but maybe the lack of transition here from Montenegro really has hurt them. It really takes a mid-range shot. Well, hermano y hermano. Macho. Just giving that one off to big brother Willie there. Yeah, Home and Gomez brothers on the floor together. Nice spacing. Penetrate and pass. And one show to Willie. Catch it very now. Spain. Just trying to finish these last three minutes. Mihailovic finding Simonovic, a pick and pop there from 18 feet. Doesn't get it, but the foul is going to be called. Well, they're going to call it on Joel Pará. Well, Seba Saiz is going to come into the game here for Willy Hernan Gomez. <laughs> Eagle dropped now because he's going to come into the game here for Kendrick Perry. So, top game for Perry. <laughs> Got one more game to look forward to tomorrow, and that will be against Georgia. We're gonna have to play in front of a very hyped up crowd. Oh, he got the assist off the back. Well, that's what I call. I love that play. We saw that yesterday with AJ Slaughter for Poland. Well, Hernan Gomez now. Watch out. Pulls up to no man's land, doesn't get it. Mihailovic now split the defense, goes up, puts up a little teardrop, and Mihailovic, I mean, it's just kind of play. Montenegro have needed this all game. Yeah, they've got to play with force and quick attack before the Spain defense gets set. Because once the defense is set and we're into half court, Montenegro have really struggled. Well, we'll go listen to the timeout, of course. What these coaches have to say here. Spain leading by 16 points. Two eight to go here in the fourth quarter. know what he does he has been watching the social medias of the FIBA Eurobasket AJ Slaughter well we got two of them now that is just craft magician right there that is clever and cheeky and he gets the two points what's well, gonna be now pick a pop there with Seba Saiz 
finds Juancho. Juancho pump takes. Ten of the shot clock hit. Finding Juancho under the basket. Juancho can't keep it alive. Yes, he can. Jaime Fernandez for three. Buenas noches. Yeah, really good job by Herman Gomez. He lost the ball momentarily. Tipped it back out to Jaime Fernandez who drained the three. Helovich now for clear out here. Once we trying to split the defense. Fernandez going to hit the foot of Helovich. Mihailovic looks very disappointed. So, I think he's too happy right now. And now Dario Budwella. Alaberto Diaz now coming into the game here for Spain. Macho. Oh, Macho attacking the basket. Just lost his dribble there. Right over there. He's struggling one show Herman Gomez just to get a grip on the ball. Six points, four rebounds, two assists for him. But the last few plays down the, down the course hasn't been able to get control of the ball. I think people need to understand what Juancho's role is wherever he plays, whether it's playing for the Toronto Raptors next season on the national team. You know, he is his true power forward. You're going to get perimeter shots from him. You're going to get the yeah. pick and pops. He's not the kind of player you put the ball in the hands and say, hey, I want you to go attack the basket one-on-one. -on -one. He is a pure energy player, and he's a very good one as well. Yeah. Well, neck now with the ball in his hands. It's a lot of down loader. Simonovic. Simonovic goes up. It's rejected. Well, Seba Saiz said, no in me, casa. Well, bienvenidos a la cancha. But two no eres bienvenido. Well, Hasta la vista. Two Spanish players, there, so he's and Juancho Herman Gomez blocking Simonovic's shot. Well, Dropniak now pulls up a Hail Mary three pointer. Juancho with a rebound. Again, almost turns it over again. now with the ball in his hands getting a handoff with Jaime Fernandez. We'll find it Seba Saiz under the basket. Seba Saiz gets blocked but a foul is going to be called. So Seba Saiz will go to the free throw line here for two shots. Yeah, again Saiz got really deep into the key. He's, he's called it and turned, gone up for the shot and it just blocked him. He tried to come into the foul. Well, Seba Saiz played his university basketball all they missed originally from Madrid, Spain. Now remember, after the 2018-19 regular season, he went to Japan where he played with Sun Rocker Shibuya, won a championship with the Chiba Jets in the B-League, but as of last year, he played his first season at Tokyo Alvark. one of the top players in the Japanese B-League. Mihailovic now put the cross on Mihailovic. Oh my goodness gracious, well. Seba Saiz. Things need to calm down very quickly. I think what Mihailovic is saying, you're winning by 20 points. Why are you trying to block me that aggressively? That is quite a hard block and attempt. Well, I'm almost certain the referees should review this one. Because it is a bit reckless. It's coming from the back, that is. Yeah, but I guess they're still thinking points difference. I don't want Montenegro to get any sort of play that's going to really get lift them and push them on for the last few seconds. But yeah, we are very close to the end of the game. Well, just no review here. Very interesting. I guess the referees are just looking at it as a hard, attempted block and a regular foul. Well, two free throws have been made. 19 point ball game. Mihailovic. Tough game for him and his team, but still time is going to be shot clock and game clock, so he's going to need something left now. And there is another turnover. I think with Scariola will be very disappointed with the fact is how his team at times, I mean, I know they're winning by 19 points. It's easy to say it's a good game, but a lot of costly turnovers for Spain in this game so far. Think about it. 
turnovers. Negro with 19 turnovers. And Spain with 20 turnovers. That's something he won't want to be pleased about going into tomorrow's game against Turkey. And the follow up there will, ladies and gentlemen, Spain win this one 82 to 65. Good response after their defeat to Belgium. While Sergio Scariolo, his boys now move to 3 of 1. And the trip to Berlin is looking very likely now. And it, it will be confirmed. In this one, Spain lead there victorious. Montenegro now go to two and two, and they have to play Georgia tomorrow, which could be a very decisive game. It certainly could be. Georgia up next against Bulgaria, but a dominant Spanish performance. But the 20 turnovers are still room for improvement. Coach Scariola shuffling his deck. Getting Juancho Herman Gomez coming off the bench. And Spain look, certainly looked really good in that first quarter, first half. They end up winning comfortably, 82-65. There's the stats. Let's look at Spain, 51% from the field, 79% from the free throw line, 54% from two. 41 rebounds to 25, that's huge. 19 assists to 13, that's with the 20 turnovers. 10 steals to 13. Spain, moving on. Mihailovic, 18. Rosella, 18. Hernan Gomez, 14. Brown, 12. Very tense. Simonovic, 11. But nine of those points were very early in the game. So this Perry getting all the way to the basket. Herman Gomez could come over and block him. And that was a pass and a beautiful extra pass from Padilla. He's learning fast now. Scariola wants the game to be played. Total isolation underneath. One on one for Willie Herman Gomez. He throws it down. And then Padilla gets rewarded with a three of his own. over for Brown and finishes with the left hand. And then Mihailovic. Catch the square up and shoot with beautiful arm and rotation. And Perry to Simonovic. Running round arm hook layup off the back rim. Fernandez not playing much tonight. Maybe he'll have a bigger role going forward. Herbert Gomez attacks. Off pass to Willie Herman Gomez at the elbow for the open two. And then the cheekiest player of the night since there has no idea what's about to happen. And Mihailovic catches it off his back and finishes with a reverse lap. That's the issue with having your back to the inbounder. And great sportsmanship and respect, as always, between these teams. But Spain. Go through to the round of 16, Montenegro still have it all to do on game day five tomorrow. We will have that confirmed for you. There's the two results in the books here in Tbilisi. Spain top the group, three and one. Turkey riding behind, three and one. Montenegro, Belgium, two and two. Georgia, Bulgaria up next. So Spain with a dominant performance, pretty much from start to finish. Dublovic found it tough. Scariola shuffled his back. But the results were still Spanish-like. They get the big win. Oscar Radovic frustrated.
Spain march on. Congratulations, we'll see you shortly.